Yo, what's up, Poke Champs? This is your boy, Infamous Trainer, and today we're about to react to Pokemon Journeys Episode 90, Part 2 of the Winter Special. Now, I'm actually really excited about this. It looked on a really good cliffhanger for Episode 89, so without further ado and no more delay, let's go ahead and dive into this episode. Okay, that's pretty cool to start with the flashback, just in case you forgot last week. Um, I, I'm excited to see hopefully more legendary Pokemon um, just the other part of this amazing story uh, when it comes to this winter special more dawn you honestly you cannot go wrong oh snap it's the two ashes that's what's up dude oh look at them both <laughs> talking about how I'm ash but I'm ash yo what something about these multiversal Something about the multiverse in this month of December is crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. This Ash is, uh, he's a bit timid. He's a bit timid for sure. Okay, look at Koharu coming in for the save. Very valuable member, and I'm so glad to see even more of Koharu or Chloe for you guys. Whoa, whoa. That's not your Pikachu. Yo, this Ash is a crybaby. What's going on here? Why do they always make Ash a crybaby? Ayo! Pikachu's an egg? Just like Piplup! Hey, that sucks. <laughs> that actually really, really sucks. Oh! Ashes was doing that last episode. He was forgetting moves. So it's going to turn into a Pichu, like in the preview, and then turn into an egg. That's crazy. Oh! It's Gengar and Dragonite! Finally, Gengar getting some love. I mean, he does have those uh, that whole arc coming up, so I'm hoping to see that Pokemon do some work real soon. Oh, they're all meeting up together. There's two Dons. There's two Ashes. Where's the Where's the extra Go and Koharus, man? Wait, 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 wait. What is going on? Wait, he's an imposter, bro. He's an imposter. You see them eyes, bro? That, there's no way. That's, oh, oh, I didn't even notice that was Team Rocket, bro. That's crazy. Those are good disguises. Yo, they are ruthless in this version. I love it. Oh, snap, it's Cinderace and Pikachu time. Oh, Meowth about to handle them both? Don't tell me Meowth's about to wash both of them. That would be crazy. Ooh, Pikachu, please remember I Oh no, they're devolving. Oh snap. Oh man, Pik uh, he doesn't have Pikachu's Pokeball. It's in his pocket! It's a Pichu in his pocket! Dude, that is awesome. They got to go all the way to the spear pillars for real? Are you serious? That is a trip and a half right there. Come on. Okay, he's sending back. Oh, as soon as they came out. Oh, well, technically Ash does own again. Uh, I mean, uh, a Haunter now. That's pretty cool. That is not good though. It's cool, but not good in the situation. Dude, I almost forgot that Go has an Aerodactyl. He never uses Aerodactyl, like ever. So this is the OG team. Okay, these are OG team members right here. That's kind of crazy. Dude, even Meowth cannot talk English words anymore. <gasps> is he gonna turn into a why not? Oh, they're getting younger. Right? They're getting younger, and the, it, yo, this is actually pretty cool to see how the time and space is affecting everything. This is pretty dope. Whoa, what happened to the pillars? What? Oh, snap, it's a gate. Maybe it's just best to hop through. Just go. Just go for it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Koharu is a hacker? Dude, what is going on in this universe? It's almost like we could really get a whole sub-series based off of things happening in this universe. That's crazy. Oh, there they go. Space and time is being shot out. 
They're opening up the gates. And of course, Diago's throwing in the power to rewind time. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Man, dude. Oh, no. Dratini Ghastly? Trapinch? Yo, they're all eggs already? Let me tell you, it must suck being a two-stage Pokemon in any of this because you're you're reverting back to an egg almost immediately, which really, really sucks. So their goal is to catch every single Dialga and Palkia? That's it's kind of big brain. I gotta give Team Rocket their props. They're really making good plans here. Hey, the alternates are here. The alternates are here. What's good? They, hey, I'm actually, hey, this is pretty dope. Oh, snap. Okay, okay. Let's see what you can do. We got, we got, ooh. Oh, he's a score bunny again. It's okay, score bunny. It's okay. Do work, do work, do work, do work. Wait, which, what is she using? Oh, okay, she's using Baneri. Okay, understandable. And they both have EVs. Ah, uh, it looks cool in the armor though. I, I, I'm digging the armor. It actually looks really, really good. Oh, Pichu, come on. Come on, Pichu. You know better than that. My boy, my boy Infernape, his ace, his ace is Infernape, let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Gym Char Supremacy! That's what I'm talking about. And Polion fans, you can bite it. If you're a Torterra fan, you, you'll call second. I'm just gonna say that. But hey, it's all about that Infernape Nation Gym Char Supremacy. Let me see these. Okay, they're they really in this battle right now. Stone Edge is getting blown away. Pyro Ball, Dragon Breaths. Mmm. I love to see it. Ooh, okay. Got them punches going. And the bubble beam. Look at the action sequences. Okay, I, I like this. Oh, snap. They went for the double copycat. Oh, and even short circuited. Let's go. Koharu's for the win. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Dang, just like that, everyone's reverting. Everyone. Whoa. Oh, they're even turning back. Everyone's an egg here, dude. Oh, no. What's going on? Dude, they actually kind of look super adorable as kids. Look at them. They like they look like little munchkins. Dude, it's that's pretty awesome. It actually they look really adorable. <gasps> My honey boo boo bear, Cynthia. Let's send our feelings to Arceus or Arceus, however you like to say it, right? That is really bold, and I'm interested to see how this plays out. Is Ash summoning the the mythical Arceus here? <laughs> Yo, AU Ash is he's funny to me. Such a crybaby, but an adorable character for sure. Dude, Ash just summoned alongside the others Arceus. What the hell just happened? And now these two are done beefing just like that? What the hell is going on? Okay, so they're bringing everything back in with the proper balance. Okay. Closing the portals and, and taking the time away and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. It's, it's kind of awesome because I just battled these Pokemon not too long ago. Uh, and, and Pokemon Shining Pearl, obviously, Palkia is who I battled. But it's awesome to see them in the anime too. Hey, two Ashes with two Pikachus. That's pretty dope. Ahaha. <laughs> Hey, look at all the Pokemon. Let's go. Look at them. My boy Infernape. Hey, fist bumping Ash and Pikachus. Obviously, our our versions have to go back home. Hey, the Pokemon world is back in balance, man. 
That is good. That's actually pretty good to see. I'm glad it was a happy ending. Team Rocket sneaking off. My girl Cynthia looking like a snack. Ooh, this is a nice little end card. You saw all of them. They look all so great. You, oh, I like that. That's a really cool picture. Anyways, let's talk about the episode. Pokemon Journeys Episode 90, the wrap up to the two part winner special actually was pretty good. I have to say I enjoyed this episode a, a lot more than the first one. It was a good setup. Dev left on a fantastic cliffhanger leading into this episode and so much happened here. I just wish we could see uh, more of the interaction between the AU characters and the ones that we know. It'd be just cool to have more conversations. I do like the fact they made them really different. Uh, you know, of course, Ash, any AU version of Ash is like a crybaby, which is always interesting to see, but this one was really uh, of an adorable character. Go was really more confident and like battle ready and badass. You had a uh, Koharu or Chloe the hacker. I mean, that's pretty boss. Is that is that possibly hinting at what at what you know her character may be like, or even a hint? What's the opposite of a hacker? That that could be potentially what uh, Koharu's goal is. And Dawn is just a fantastic character, actually being number two in the Sinnoh League. Uh, and, or like, that's just kind of crazy to me, but I'm gonna tell you, I enjoyed the winter special. It was really good. Um, as far as this episode's rating, I give it a eight out of 10. It was good. Um, I enjoyed a lot of the battles and sequences. I just kind of wish there was more interaction, even more interaction with those AU characters. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How much did you enjoy the winter special? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was the ending bad? Was the, was the middle okay? Did you love Cynthia? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below and uh, I just can't wait to see more Pokemon journeys coming up next soon will be the whole Gengar arc so hopefully we get to see G Max Gengar soon but it will have to see in the in the next reaction or video I will see you guys next time thank you guys all for watching and uh, bye